looking for the perfect Photoshop substitute or maybe you're looking for some tips and tricks to make your life your editing and graphic design life so much easier I guess you're in the right place Before we start, if you're new here, welcome to my channel. This is your bubbly neighbor Kat. And yes, please do hit the subscribe button. I will highly, highly, highly appreciate it. And if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and click that post notification bell button right there so that you get notified every time I post a video. I post every Wednesdays and occasionally on Mondays and Fridays when I feel like it. So yes, let's start with this video. Let's start with the probable reason why you're here. I think you've read the title of this and curiosity ignited when you saw that I have found the best and I tell you the best substitute for Photoshop. So let's not prolong this. I will be showing you guys what that is. So this is what I'm talking about. It's called Photopea or Photopea. Well, I think it's Photopea. Gut feel. <laughs> but this is how it looks like. It basically looks like Photoshop when you first open it. You can upload PSDs, sketch, PDF even raw files anything literally and you can create anything and it basically has the same feature that photoshop has even the overall parang layout it's basically photoshop and the shortcuts the keys it also applies here so yes let me list down to you the pros and the cons para mas detailed tong panonood dito pros is that it's free because you have to have money to have photoshop or you have to illegally download it so but this this one is free it's legal you can use it anytime as long as you have internet connection that's it it doesn't occupy any space on your laptop's memory because it's online so yeah for somebody who has a little to no memory on their laptop like me, this is very beneficial. This is very helpful. And basically, the everything, especially the basics. So if you're a beginner and you just need Photoshop for the for its basics, you can actually settle for this one because it's free. You don't have to spend much money from it. And second, you don't have to illegally download it. So you are safe. Let me list down also the cons of course. So, kung may pros, may cons tayo. The cons is that it has limited layers. It doesn't have autosave unlike Photoshop. Na pag open mo, pwede kang pwede mo balikan yung mga nagawa mo. Even if you create an account, I tried that. I created an account. It doesn't back up your files. So, the saving goes sa'yo. <laughs> <laughs> dapat ikaw na yon uh, bahala ka na mag save no kailangan alalahanin mo kasi it doesn't have backup and next it has ads pero malit lang naman nandito lang so parang hindi mo na lang pansinin i guess <laughs> kasi nasa side lang naman siya actually i think that's it for the cons i think that's very good this is a very good alternative to photoshop yes so we, we've settled that. Let's proceed with the next website that I will be sharing with you guys. So if you're having a difficult time choosing the perfect color palette for your artwork or for your publicity material or for anything that you're creating right now, you can go to Coolors. I always have a hard time saying this URL. I don't know why. Anyway, you just have to go to Coolors.co and you can generate your palette so you just have to go to this website and you can generate any color palette by hitting the space bar and if you say for example you like this color you can lock it but you want other colors that would match that you can just lock that and hit the space bar again then say for example I like this and then you can do that all over again and when I say for example this one I like this one you can save it or export it very easy. That's nandiyan na din yung hex code do. So you don't, if you don't want to save it anymore, you can just type the hex code. Next on the list uh, that I want to show you guys is 
this very amazing thing that I found. So have you ever experienced that moment wherein you saw a particular publicity material or a particular text and then you'd be all like, oh my god, I want that font so bad. So bad. <laughs> I, because I do have those moments. I don't know. I am not even exaggerating. I really have that moment wherein I look at a text and I'd be like, oh my god, I want to know what font is that. I want to use it. But then you can't because you don't know what font it is. And then you'd be there on your laptop searching for, with random keywords like, vintage font <laughs> script handwriting font something like that but you can't see it because hell there are heck ton of fonts out there diba? so yes i will be sharing with you guys what i discovered that came in super handy this is font squirrel smaturator that's what they call it it's at fontsquirrel.com slash maturator don't worry i will link down all the links that i will be sharing and talking to you guys right now in the description box para hindi kayo hit happen so this is how it looks like when you open it you upload an image of where yung text mo nandun yung gusto mo identify see for example this hello we want that font so we wait for it to process and then there we will it will have to ask you to highlight the, the text that you wish to match so there once we've highlighted that part we maturate it and then viola it's here so here are the fonts that match your search so yes that is that font let's keep on tracking yep and then it shows you where you can download it and then you just gotta click that it will transfer you to that website where you can download the font that you want and then you have it easy peasy so yes let's move on to the next website so the next website I, th I think most of you guys are familiar but for my girls out there who aren't familiar yet I have here this website flaticon.com it is basically what I use when I need icons and then I'm too lazy <laughs> on that day to create my own icon you have here flat icons almost everything is here you just have to search for what you need say for example reading then there you have it a heck ton of flat icons that could match your search that's it and then if once you've logged in okay let me log in for you guys so let, here once you've logged in you can actually edit the icon there right away so you see for example you want this color on that on the back you can edit it yes there super easy and simple so before you download it you can edit it first so that you don't have to edit it on photoshop or any app that you're using to create the publication material or the graphics that you're making so there so lastly for this mini tutorial i don't know what to call this sharing is unsplash.com i think most of you are familiar with this already but yes for those who aren't familiar yet i also have this on my phone actually the the app this is where i search for royalty free images so yep you can also upload images here that are free to use by other users so Yep, you can basically search anything. <laughs> Say for example, flat lay. And there you have a high definition photo you can use for your graphics. 
it's literally true to its word it's photos for everyone but once you download it say for example you want to download it you can see the there you can see the username or the per of the person who made that photo or who took that photo so you can actually give credits to them still yeah that's it that's basically it so that's it for today's video guys i hope you liked it i hope you learned something hopefully from this video if you did like it please give it a thumbs up and click that post notification bell button right there so that you get notified every time i post a video i post every wednesdays and occasionally on mondays and fridays what if you like it comment down below any video suggestions any questions tutorial requests anything literally anything i will be very glad to read them yes share this to your friends help me make our little family grow that's it for today's video subscribe if you haven't yet yes thank you so much for watching see you in my next one again this is your bubbly neighbor cat always reminding you to always be kind bye